Indeed they are. Aditi, thank you for that report there. Pittsburgh will come into the weekend as a division leader, although it's just a half-game lead over the Baltimore Ravens, both those teams with big games against playoff contending teams. Patriots can clinch the division. The Houston Texans can clinch their division. Kansas City can clinch their division, although no one has clinched any divisions so far in the AFC. Speaking of the number one seed Chiefs, they got a tough one at Seattle. Let's get a pregame report from Kansas City with Jeff Chadia. The Seattle Seahawks are the next team to try to contain Kansas City Chiefs quarterback Patrick Mahomes, and they may have one decided advantage in this contest. They play a defense that's very similar to the Chargers and the Jaguars, and both those teams gave Mahomes some problems in their games. The Jaguars held Mahomes to no touchdown passes and two interceptions in the Chiefs' win a few weeks ago, and the Chargers were able to contain him to 243 yards and two touchdown passes in last week's loss. Now, Mahomes also is still without wide receiver Sammy Watkins, which is having a big effect on this offense, and they're still trying to figure out their running game without Kareem Hunt. So don't be surprised if the Seahawks are able to give Mahomes some issues this week. Thank you. And that game, Jeff, is the focus of who has the edge presented by Volvo. Seattle and Kansas City, Ooh. where do you see it? I'm going with Kansas City. Mm -hmm. And, you know, nobody's better than Russell Wilson in prime time. I get that. But this offense with the Kansas City Chiefs, they start fast. They score a lot of points. And I'm just wondering if Seattle gets behind, does this change the way, the style that they want to play this football game? We know it. They, they run it more than anybody in the league. But when you're down by a lot of points, that eliminates the running game. So I understand that their defense is not as good, but their defense, the Kansas City Chiefs, all they got to do is focus on the running game, which includes Russell Wilson. Sure. Got to be mindful of that. So you stop the running game and you force them to be one-dimensional to throw. Let's see if Tyler Lockett and Doug Baldwin, who, who are great, can beat you. What's the pressure point number? Do they need to be down by 14 for that to happen? Say, would, 17, I would say 12 10. or 14 points. Yeah. That, that means you got to get out of the running and, game yeah. and you got to yeah. start throwing the ball. Okay. Reggie, edge? Well, well, two things. Well, I think the Seahawks, oh, sorry. Yeah, I think the Seahawks have the edge here, yeah. but I want to go back to one thing you said. You said nobody's better than Russell Wilson on primetime games. And then you said if they get down, does that change their, the style of offensive play? Because if they do get down, they still have Russell Wilson at quarterback. And you just said Absolutely. he's one of the best on primetime games. But when you go into that Seattle Seahawks stadium, right, and you have to play against that crowd, I know it's, Patrick Mahomes has been great and he's, he's quickly um, you know, changing the way we think about the quarterback position. But when you go into that Seattle, Seattle Seahawks stadium, it is tough to play there. And we saw some of that Seattle Seahawks magic against the Minnesota Vikings. Mm. But to me, the ultimate way to neutralize an elite offense is a running attack. And who better than the Seahawks, Seattle Seahawks to do that? They have the number one rushing attack right now. They're the only team that runs the football more than they throw the football. And Kansas City's defense is ranked 26. They have not been great against the run. They've given up 17 touchdowns uh, against the run. So I think Seattle has an edge here sp specifically because the way they run the football and specifically because they have Russell Wilson at quarterback. Okay, sharpen your pencils real quick. Clinching scenarios here. Mm -hmm. Uh, Kansas City can clinch the division with a win and a Chargers loss. Kansas City can clinch the number one seed and home field advantage throughout the playoffs with a Kansas City win, a Chargers loss, and a Houston loss. Yeah. Seattle can clinch a playoff spot, but it's not just win and in like it was last week because of a certain number of dominoes that fell. Mm -hmm. Seattle needs to win, and they need a Washington or a Minnesota loss to lock up a postseason spot. So basically, this week. what you saying? Washington loss correct. definitely gonna happen. So basically, what you're saying? Both teams are playing for a lot. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. This is one of the dandies this weekend here. And that stadium 16. is going to know it, too. And the stadium's going to be loud. You know that. Lindsay? Another thing.